If you're paying human setters to work your Instagram DMs, I just built something that's either going to save you a ton of time or make you seriously reconsider your hiring process. I know the setter game. As a high ticket coach or consultant, you're either paying someone three to 5K a month who's inconsistent, doesn't really understand your offer, or keeps asking you what to say, or you're paying 15% commission to someone who's good, which can get expensive fast when you're closing high ticket deals. So I built an AI setter that works your Instagram DMs 24 7, never needs training on your objection handling, and costs a fraction of what you're paying humans. And not only is it cheaper, but it's actually better at the job. So this system has specialized agents for every part of your setter process. The intent recognition agent will read the conversation, figure out where the prospects are at, where it'll send it to qualify them properly without being pushy. So we've gone, we've created multiple stages, which will understand about their business, their team structure, activity level, the service value, the pain discovery, and these can all be fully customized. But we've created a checkpoint system to properly qualify your prospect. And if you do get any tricky objections, we're using proven frameworks like Hermosi's stuff and other sale tactics from top sales leaders. And then our last agent just books the calls. Each agent is laser focused on its job and is prompted specifically. So the cool part is, is that their memories are all tied together. So they're sharing information between these different agents. But the really cool part is the memory system. So right here, it's pulling all of your existing prospect notes. It remembers every conversation details, meaning that this AI agent gets smarter with every interaction. I'm going to show you exactly how I built this system. I'm going to break down each agent and I'm going to provide a live demo right now because if you are spending money on setters, you need to see this. Okay, so I just went and started a conversation. I said, hey, it responded back, hey, what kind of business do you run? And we're just going to continue talking to it. So I run a high ticket coaching business. And now you can see if we go into this right now, we click on executions. There's an execution running. In a second, I'll show you the output for this. So let's just break down what's going on here. It sends the webhook. It searches for any notes that exist on that contact. If notes do exist, it compiles it together. Then it hits our intent recognition agent who says, hey, we're still in general inquiry sends it up to general inquiry that generates the response. And now it asks the next question. Nice, high ticket coaching is solid. Do you have a team handling or booking your leads right now? Right, now nah, I'm doing everything myself. That's a lot on your plate. Are you currently getting enough leads or is that the part where you're feeling stuck? Right, okay, so definitely getting a lot of leads. Not too sure how to get to all of them though. That's a good problem to have. How many Instagram DMs do you get a week and do you feel like you're missing any potential clients because of de delayed responses? So you can see in this case, I sent two messages back to back and what typically happens and why our system is pretty advanced is that right here, it's checking to see if multiple messages are being sent within a certain time period. In this case, it's sent to eight seconds. If they receive multiple messages, it's going to combine them both and send one message back instead of two, right? So you can see here, that's a solid lead flow. How do you currently manage all those messages? Is it manual inbox scrolling or do you have any system in place, right? And, and what's happening the entire time is that it's actually the qualifying the client and getting them to kind of have this aha moment of like, man, I really do need this, right? And now it's starting to go into the pitch, which is like, what if we could help you automate your Instagram DMs so every lead gets a quick reply? I think that'd free up some serious time. Yeah. So now we're going to throw it at an objection. Yeah, but I don't really trust AI. So now you can see if we look at this execution that's about to run, what's going to happen is it's going to come down this same route. It's going to hit our intent recognition agent, and then it's going to push to the objection handling agent. So let's see the outcome here. There you go. You see that it came to the objection handling agent and let's look at the response. Totally fair. Trust is huge, especially with your prospects. What specifically makes you hesitate with AI? Is it the quality of the conversation or just that it feels less personal? So now it's digging into what the real issue is here, right? It's what, what about AI don't you trust? I mean, I guess I'm worried about memory and I've tried other AI for DMs. That's pretty shit. Totally get it. Lots of generic AIs miss the mark and feel robotic. Was the main issue that they forgot details or just gave really canned replies? Yeah, that's super common. Most AI just spits out generic stuff. If the replies actually sounded like you and remembered client details, would you be open to test driving something better? Perfect. Here's my calendar link to book a demo. Pick a time that works for you and I'll show you exactly how Target Dial can help you automate your DMs with real personality. So pretty damn incredible. It's all synced up with Go High Level 2. So it's extremely powerful to be using it as your CRM because you can automate a lot more of the automated follow-ups and well, i mean it goes much deeper than this but i just wanted to show you the real power of when you combine multiple agents 
to achieve a specific outcome. And I'm going to be going through a couple additions that we've added to allow for a better performance of our Instagram agent. So let's dive into it. Okay, so I'm not going to go too in depth into all of this because I just did a massive video on how you could set this up for SMS. And this is the voice agent or not the voice agent. This is the Instagram version. I'm just going to show you quickly what's different and why this solution is truly scalable because all you really have to change, as you can see, this was for sending SMS and it's just a different HTTP request. And this is now connected to Instagram. So it's super powerful because what you can do is actually go into your high level account. Now within this account, I can go to settings and then to integrations and you can go and connect all of your pages here. So you can see right now I have two connected pages. I did toss in this note grabbing section. So essentially what's happening is I split this webhook. First goes to set the initial data. The second one comes down here, hits this HTTP request, which is posting to the notes endpoint, or sorry, getting the notes endpoint. We're searching by contact ID and that's all you need. So really we're grabbing all of the notes associated with that contact. And then we split out all of those notes. So fields to split out notes. And then we go and aggregate them all together into this one field called memories. From there, we merge the two inputs. So we have all of the messages that would have been summarized, plus all of the notes. And then we use that in our intent recognition agent. I also went and connected them all to the same memory. So this is pretty key because now no matter what node it goes to, they're all sharing the same context and the same conversation. And then lastly, for the output, what we're doing is we're sending a post request to the messages conversation messages endpoint in high level. And this was actually a lot simpler than I, <laughs> I expected it to be. Because typically when you're building these things, you end up going down a rabbit hole and it's way more complicated than it needs to be. So right here, send a new message. And all you need is the authorization token, the version, and then we are specifying the type. So that's what I mean by this is truly scalable because now we can just allowed values SMS, the contact ID, which we already have, and then the message. So if we go back, you can see right here, type set to IG. Here's the contact ID and here's the message. And so now if I wanted to make an SMS one, I would literally just come in here, type in SMS and now we're sending on the SMS channel. And you can literally do that for any of these other channels. So it's now you have this template that you can literally just replicate into people's businesses, choose the channel that they want. I know there's a lot of people on WhatsApp. So you put in WhatsApp and now we're sending messages on WhatsApp. And so this one is short and sweet. I'm not going to go too much deeper into this, but it will be part of a series that I'm about to do where I'm going to go into how you can build an entire offer from scratch, how you can launch and land clients. And it's going to be everything that I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just going to be doing it on the camera so you can learn, you can follow along and I hope you get immense value out of it. With that being said, hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.